Right, welcome back to I Am Jack's Broken Femur. I am Jack. And on May 22nd of 2020, at 59 years old, I received a broken femur in two places. If you found yourself in this situation, please visit Broken Femur Victims Unite on Facebook. Lots of resources that you can deal with, well, to help you deal with this thing. Keep up your cheery good nature and your mental stability and your will to get through this thing. Now on to the rest of the video. Uh, I made it to Milton, Florida today. Very, very, another very frustrating day. Uh, getting out of East Pensacola was pretty tough. I mean, it's a pretty hilly region and lots of traffic, man. Uh, you know, lots of stopping and starting at intersections, having to dismount, uh, maneuver around lots of obstacles that I just couldn't whiz by very conveniently because I'm pulling that trailer. And again, my rig weighs, I'm pushing 220 pounds, around 250 with my backpack, okay? And I'm not even, I'm not even adding my weight to the whole deal. So basically just my machine and all my equipment, all the things I need, I'm at an eighth of a ton. So slow going. Now, once I hit the Santa Rosa County line, you know, the Highway 90 opens up, it's flat, it's wide, no, no more intersections, tracks, uh, traffic is negotiable, and nice big fat bike lane. Then I was able to start making some real time, some real distance. Then I got to Pace, Florida, tried to buy something and my ATM card doesn't work. Was on the phone with the bank for two hours trying to get this straightened out. And they, their IT guy finally determined that my brand new car just didn't print up right. It's magnetic strip, the little chip in it. It's not any good. And there's only select region outlets. Regions is my bank. There's only select branches of my bank that can give you a new ATM card on the spot. And there's not one near here. There's no one, there's not one near here at all. So I had to, but there was one here in uh, Milton. So I took out a bunch of cash, and that's just how I'm going to have to do it till I get this rectified. But uh, so very frustrating day, but a successful, uh, very successful one. Far better than yesterday. And I found a a large property, kind of behind the trees, behind this local church. Uh, what was it called? I was just there, trying to think of the name of it. Um, the something, oh, the Bearing Fruit Community Church here in Milton. And off to the side, they've got this huge property. And there's nothing on it, and it's uh, surrounded by trees. Nobody can see me from the highway. I did try to call somebody at the church to get permission to camp back there for one night and couldn't get anybody on the phone. And I looked around, I mean, just... Nobody goes through there. You can tell. There's no telltale signs of junky garbage or drunks sleeping back there or anything else. So I set up my tent, and that's where I'm going to be for the night. But uh, after a long, frustrating day, uh, I backtracked about a mile and a half, and I am at Ollie's. And I'm going to have a couple of beers. So... Successful day, frustrating day, got through it, rectified some more issues with balance and load distribution, and now we're going to chill out for a little bit. Have a good time. Talk to you later.